I wanted to show uh, the latest update that I just received 14.1.4 with here yeah 14.1.4 this one shows this is like slightly improvement and last on my last video I forgot uh, or I didn't know how to set the destination parking and all that I just learned so I just wanted to show that um, so yeah let's start the video and I'll be recording and I'll go to the nearest Costco and see how the parking works at the BZ location. I happen to have some time today to test this. This will be a good test. Let me put a navigation to Costco, the nearest Costco, which is five miles. And when I put this here, you can see start self-driving. And when I have that, I have option over here. Uh, it's slightly grayed out so that it does not obstruct the screen. So I have option to say parking lot, street, driveway, charger, parking. And then you just saw that it actually backed up from my garage. This is exciting. And when I return back, I'll also show you how it parks inside my garage. So right now I have on the standard and for the parking option, I have as a parking lot selected. So let's see. And we go like this. So I'll resume this. I'll be recording, but I'll cut this part. When I reach the Costco, I will uh, resume the next one. So let me do that. I'll stop talking now. And in case there's any good thing that I need to share, I will put the video anyway. Oh, so this one is going to different Costco that I wanted to go. Let me change that here and the Costco. I didn't realize I put the wrong Costco here. It says, let me search. And this is a good test as well. What does it do while I'm driving? So I'm gonna go to the nearest one actually. Earlier it was five miles. This one is two miles. And also select the parking lot. The address I put is a Costco gas station. I'm not sure it will park. We'll find the parking next to the gas station. So I'm going to end that as well. I will see if they have a regular Costco location right after I make a left here. And I'm, I'm not touching anything here. And this way is clear. There's one car coming from that side. That's the reason why it's just waiting there you go we are clear so i will put a cost I change the lane costco the only option c location i have costco gas station and costco wholesale so i want to choose this one so that it goes to the store rather than the gas station line and for here in case i didn't show this earlier clearly there's a uh, I ch chose a parking lot and there's also option for charger and then also curbside. Let's see. Wow. It waited until, waited for something. It waited for that car to make a U-turn. I don't know. That was amazing. It's so human. It looks everywhere. I thought it was waiting for the other. They had a green light over there on that side. But then that turned red right after it tried to go. Uh, the other car made a U-turn so that it waited for that. So it's just very nice to see that. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting here, uh, let me show the release notes here. You can see this is the one that I was talking about. It gives an option for at destination. Do you want a parking lot? Do you want to choose uh, select parking lot, street or driveway, arrival options? And then there's a speed profile had changed to chill, standard, hurry, and Mad Max. And this one, uh, this is a user interface improvement. We have, so this is our exit right here. Wow, it's amazing that how it's selecting this exit rather than that. With the version 13 and all that, uh, it was making right from that lane. It's nothing wrong with that lane. Uh, the only thing is after exiting, um, getting that, you have to make a two lane changes, but this one is the right option. So this is amazing how it did that. I didn't, so this is my first drive with this version. So this is not pre-planned or I haven't checked. And the main purpose of this video is to show you guys that parking option and also stay tuned, wait until the end. So when I return home, I will show you how it manages to park by itself inside the garage. So that actually I checked, I was able to test last night when I dropped off my kid and then returning back home from his soccer, I was able to come home 
and then the car parked itself uh, in my garage. So please watch that video, uh, that section at the end, that's amazing. So now we are one minute away from the Costco parking lot. We have to make a left here, so this is crowded. You can see it's giving a signal and this car probably gave us some room to move. Let's see how the car manages. Here you go now. We have to stay here, which is pretty well. This is excellent. So right after this uh, light, the part, uh, Costco is right here. Uh, the address goes all the way to the store parking lot, as you can see. Let's see how it manages to find a parking space. We are close to the Costco parking lot. As you expect, this is uh, going to be slightly busy. Left turn here. Uh, it has to go in the middle lane to make a left which it does and i can see the parking lot is busy as always it's not a weekend to get the fine noise space but still it's quite busy let's see how it goes what kind of space does it find so will it yeah it went for this row here and there is some two parking space here it's gonna go for it's going oh here there you go it's it it parked wow it parked perfectly in front side this is first time for me in the past even for 14.1.3 it used to park facing it backward but this is new all right i will find i'll go inside the store uh, get something that i wanted to get and then the second part i will add the video uh, going back to my home and parking in the parking garage see you later all right i'm back and i will show you what it does at the home location and i'm going to start full self drive drive from the parking spot and i will let's get oh wow it saw this person before me I'm backing off from here let's get out from here and i'll select that option where to park option i'll show you it's recording so it got out from here now i will select a driveway for now that's what it, it did last night when i came back home i selected driveway and then it went back to inside my garage so this is going to be fun this will be awesome this is uh, exactly what i wanted obviously in the past it was doing it but one out of ten times but this people are saying that this one is doing parking to the spots just like this one parking inside a parking lot driveway every time this is a good improvement here our turn oh wow it's a, i purposely didn't do anything but that person and this car was confused who wants to go first that's interesting uh, i don't know if the camera is able to capture all that but the person and i was there at the same time almost and he thought i was going and probably the car thought he would go first and then back and forth a little bit for a few seconds and he left the car was the cars probably if i had the hurry or mad max probably it would have done differently see how the car itself gave some space for that person trying to come here i like that when i'm here probably i should try mad max or let's see if what kind of thing it does so now i have a mad max still staying in this lane because my exit is only half mile probably that's the reason all right i'll change back to standard because i, I don't like any other the profiles i thought it would just change the lane and then come back here but because probably it's because it's a short distance I have the right address it's only uh, three minutes away one thing i have to remember is to open my garage before i get there so as soon as i am a couple houses away from my house what i will do is i will open the garage and see uh, the car can detect so let me confirm that parking is at the driveway uh, it doesn't say garage so that's one thing i am one minute away of a few houses away from my house i open the garage let's see this is the thing i wanted to show and make sure it's recording so i wanted to show how the car manages to find the parking garage my garage so there let's drive garage is open it goes here and 
it actually just parked here. <laughs>